Hi, in this video I'll show you how to draw change curve in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The Kubler-Ross change curve you will learn to create today looks like this. It's a very famous change management model and I'm going to just show you how to create this curve using the curve tool. Many trainers struggle to create this kind of a beautiful free-flowing curve in PowerPoint. So that is the main purpose of this video of how to draw curves in clear and precise manner using the curve tool in PowerPoint. Here I am on a new slide and I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Lines, I'm going to pick up this tool called as Curve Tool. Now, the thing about drawing your lines with Curve Tool is you click at the starting point and then wherever you want to have a turn happen or a curve happen, you click again and then you move your cursor to the next stage where you want to show a curve again and click and then you click again and then double click at the end to complete the curve. So the trick in creating a simple free flowing curve is to anticipate what you're going to draw and then click exactly at the point of curve or turn. Now there are times when the curve that you draw may not actually be to your liking. If that is the case, then you have complete flexibility to alter the nature of the curve. You can select the curve, right click and go to edit points. And here you can always click on these black squares and you will be provided with these handles. These are the Bezier curve handles and you can always make your adjustments like I can move one of the handles and you can see the way in which the curve changes. It requires a bit of practice for you to get this thing right because this is a slightly complicated tool and the only way in which you can master a Bezier curve is by practicing various drawings and designs using the curve tool in PowerPoint. Now, once you create the curve, then it is a matter of routine to change the color, increasing the weight of the curve, and then adding your own uh, text boxes here, and then plotting your axis. All these things are fairly easy. The main place where most trainers struggle is to know how to create a curve that is simple and free flowing. So I hope you picked up the essence of drawing curves in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you some more options for change models and all these models are already created as PowerPoint templates in our complete trainers bundle. Here is another popular change management model. You can see the various stages of change. And then this is a simpler version of Kubler-Ross uh, change curve. And here we have another variation of a change model. You can see that it's a different model altogether. And this is John Cotter's eight steps to successful change and here is another change management model then this is kurt levin's model of change unfreeze change and freeze and this is change curve model in a different way using the flat design uh, style and here is personal accountability model where you can see that there are these loops that show what happens in situation and choice now this is accountability ladder, which is also one of the change management models, how a person moves through the various stages of change. And this is managing change, a simple pyramid model. And this one is Kurt Levin's model shown in uh, the style of flat design. And this is ATCAR model of change. You can see that these are the various stages of change. And this is organizational change model, where you can see the various stages of change clearly shown. Now this is another way of showing organization change, the various stages. Once again, see the way in which this curve is drawn. The way in which you draw this curve is exactly the way that I had taught you in this video. And this is organization change management model of going from current state to desired state and what happens in the intermediate stage. Finally, this is the transition curve, which shows the bridges transition curve, the various zones in the change management. Now, the various examples, the various models and frameworks that I've shown you are all taken from our Complete Trainers Bundle. Complete Trainers Bundle has a collection of 446 pre-made models and frameworks of every industry imaginable. 
you just need to pick up a template replace the sample text with your own text and many times you don't even have to do that because those models are already done and they are ready for you to present not only those models and frameworks complete trainers bundle has a massive collection of 4022 powerpoint templates that are completely editable whatever you want to visualize in your presentations you will find a template already available complete with animation and different styles so your work is reduced as a trainer you can find more details about complete trainers bundle by clicking on the button here i'll also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video before we close this video just one more thing i hope you liked the simple curve tutorial that i taught you in this video if you did then you will really like this free snackable powerpoint course i have in prezotraining.com This snackable PowerPoint course is a collection of 16 super short emails and each email gives you a 30 second PowerPoint tip or trick that you can instantly implement. Your slides will significantly look better when you apply these simple tricks. And the course is completely free. So click on the button here and start impressing your bosses, colleagues and audiences with your newly learned tricks. I'll see you inside the course.